Hello online viewers, welcome to our lecture video. In this lecture video, we will be solving the equation x cube minus x minus 1 equals to 0 using iteration method and we will find the root of this equation called to 4 decimal places. I have already created a video on how you can solve your equations using newton raphson method, bisection method and false position method whose link you can find in the description box below. So right now let me talk about iteration method. So before jumping into the solution portion of this method, I would like to talk about iteration method. So what does iteration method tells us is that, so let's say if we have our equation fx equals to 0 we have an equation fx equals to 0 so in the iteration method so let me name this as equation a so in iteration method what we will be basically doing is we will be rating this equation such that x equals to 5x so x equals to 5x is nothing else more so we have simply uh, re rewritten the equation a in the form of x equals to 5x so let me name this as equation b now the intersection now the intersection of the curve a and b will simply give the roots of our equation a this will simply give our roots so firstly we'll have our equation a we'll rewrite the equation uh, equation a in the form of x equals to 5x and the intersection of the curve a and b will give the root or will give uh, or will give our required root of the equation so that's we will be using the iteration method so now uh, so now we uh, so now let's see if we have x naught as initial approximation so x naught is our initial approximation then we then we'll have our first approximation x1 by substituting it over substituting it in a substituting e in equation b so x1 will equal to phi x0 similarly x2 will equal to phi x1 and we'll be continuing this such that xn plus 1 equals to phi xn and we'll be continuing this until and unless our xn plus n minus xn is less than or equal to our error e so we'll be doing this until and unless we get our required uh, required roots so now uh, so now for our phi x there might be many possible uh, many possibly uh, possibilities for choosing uh, phi x so there can be many possibilities one two three there can be many possibilities so we need to choose phi x in such a way that first derivative of phi x is always less than one in our certain interval so for our certain interval in which our function fx exists, our phi, uh, our first derivative of phi x must be less than one. So must be less than one. This is our criteria for being convergent. So our convergent criteria, convergent criteria. So we need to choose phi x in such a way. So, uh, so we need to choose phi x in such a way that the first derivative of phi x is less than one. The modulus of derivative of phi x is less than one in our in our sorted interval i on which we are working so now uh, now so now let me uh, explain this further more by solving our equation so this is so this is what our uh, our iteration method refers to now let me solve this equation uh, using iteration method and you will be more clearer so now let me write this as a given so we have your given f x equals to uh, x cube minus x minus one it is given over here so now we have our tolerance equals to our tolerance is uh, so here our tolerance is given as four decimal places so this is even mentioned in our question our tolerance equals to four decimal places therefore our therefore our error e equals to 1 by 2 into 10 to the power uh, minus 4 so this is equal to 0. 0.0005 so as i uh, explained before our error e this needs to be less than or equal to 0 0.0005 so we need to do this until and unless we get our so we need to run our iteration until and unless we get our xn plus 1 minus xn less than or equal to 0 0.1234 four zeros and 5 so so we'll be running our iteration till then so next now uh, as i explained before in the next step we will we need to rewrite the equation fx so we'll rewrite the equation fx uh, in such a way that so let me write down over here the possible choices the possible choices for phi x are so we have our phi x and we need to and we'll have our many choices uh, and we'll have our many choices for phi x so our possible choices for phi x are uh, so as you can see here, so let me write down here roughly. So we have x cube minus x minus one equals to zero. So now as you as we have over here, I have my equation x cube minus x minus one equals to zero. So if I write, I can write this equation as if I take x to the right hand side, I get 
x cube minus 1 so now my first possible choice for phi x is phi x equals to uh, x cube minus 1 or let me write phi x equals to uh, similarly if I take x common from first to, uh, to this term so i get so if i take x common i have x square minus 1 equals to 1 so this is equal to x equals to 1 divided by x square minus 1 so as i mentioned before x equals to phi x so my second phi x is 1 divided by x square minus 1 or uh, or similarly if i take x cube x cube and if i take the remaining to the right hand side and if I raise to the power 1 by 3 on both sides, I get x equals to uh, x equals to cube root of x plus so x equals to cube root of x plus 1. So I get my next phi x equals to cube root of x plus 1. And I can have one more option. So if I x cube equals to x plus 1. So if I just x square equals to x plus 1 by x so i get x equals to square root of x plus 1 by x so as you can see over here i have in this way i need to i need to i can calculate my i can uh, i can rewrite my equation uh, equation x cube minus x minus 1 equals to 0 in the form of x or let me write down over here or phi x equals to square root of x plus 1 divided by x so uh, so as i uh, so on rating my equation x cube minus x minus 1 i have 1 2 3 uh, 1 2 3 and 4 four possible choices 1 2 3 four possible choices so which uh, so which yeah so so which phi x uh, do i need to choose so as i explained before i need to choose phi x in such a way that it has a convergent criteria which uh, for which phi x needs to be uh, modulus of first derivative of phi x needs to be less than 1 so if i calculate the first derivative of phi x i get this as 3x square and if i calculate the first derivative of this phi x i get uh, this as uh, minus 2x divided by x square minus 1 whole square so if i get if i calculate the first derivative of it i get this as phi x goes to 1 divided by 3 x plus 1 power 2 by 3 and for this let me write, write it over here my first derivative of this will be equal to uh, phi x equals to minus 1 by 2 x plus 1 by x power 1 by 2 so i have jumped the step of how we can calculate the first derivative uh, hopefully you know uh, hopefully uh, hopefully you know how we can calculate your first derivative you can simply use you uh, u by v method the question rule to calculate the, the first derivative of all this now i need to see whether my modulus of first derivative is less than one or not uh, for the sorted interval so uh, for this uh, so now uh, so now for this equation as you can see here f x equals to x cube minus x minus one equals to zero and this function is a uh, continuous for the interval uh, i equals to so our interval for this question is equal to zero comma infinity so i'm gonna take the interval as zero comma infinity so right now in our question the interval is not uh, is is not being given so i am choosing the interval as zero comma infinity so as you can see for phi x if i put a zero this is equal to zero but if i put one this, this will equal uh, this will be equal to three times one square means one which is equal to three which means phi x is not less than one so it's not uh, so so this is not our correct phi x so th so this doesn't have conversion criteria so for my next phi x so let me see here for my interval 0 comma infinity so if i put uh, so my phi x i need to take modulus so this minus sign will be ignored and if i put 1 uh, if i put 1 or 2 if we uh, if i put in the calculator let me put in the calculator and uh, uh, see this so you can uh, so you can simply guess uh, this as well you have x in the numerator so definitely this one be less than 1 so let me just for uh, for to be sure let me put in the calculator so i get 2 into 1 i am putting 1 divided by uh, so if I put 1 this will be infinity so let me put 2 let me put 2 uh, 2 into 2 divided by 2 square is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 3 square so I get this as 4 times 2 square, 4 4 minus 1 3 so okay this is uh, so this is less than 1 but let me check it for other number as so as you can see uh, let me put uh, 20 for check 2 into 20 
2 into uh, 2 into 20 divided by 20 square is 400 minus 1 whole square so as you can see here i get a 0 0.0003 so this is less than 1 so i can this one is correct so i can take my phi x as 1 divided by x square minus 1 as well so let me check for my phi x equals to phi x equals to uh, cube root of x plus 1 i have my first derivative as this so as you can see here so as you can see i have my uh, numerator as 1 so whatever i put in denominator it's always going to be less than 1 for sure and my third as well i have uh, minus 1 divided by x so there is 1 in numerator so whatever i keep in my denominator it's, it's always going to be less than 1 this minus is going to be uh, is going to be ignored because i am going to take the modulus so without uh, checking on calculator as well you can so without checking on so without checking on calculator as well you can simply guess whether the uh, whether it is whether it has conversion uh, criteria or not by simply looking at the numerator and denominator so i have so i have my three options my i can choose my phi x except s cube minus one i can choose my phi x either as one divided by x, x square minus one or phi x equals to cube root of x plus one or phi x equals to square root of x plus one divided by x so right now uh, let me choose let us choose so right now I am choosing, let us choose phi x equals to, I am going to choose a cube root of x plus 1, you can choose any. Let us choose, a, let us choose phi x equals to, uh, phi x equals to uh, cube root of x plus 1 and so what you can write over here is, uh, right now you can write here, phi x is, phi x is less than 1, so the iterative method exists. So the iterative method exists. So you can simply write this as write this write this and then you can write let us choose phi x equals to cube root of x plus one and a equals to I'm choosing a right now as one such that so my initial approximation right now initial approximation right now is uh, a equals to one. So you can choose phi x as uh, phi x either as cube root of x plus one, phi x equals to square root of x plus one divided by x, or phi x equals to one divided by x square minus one. Because the first derivative of all of them is less than one. Right now I am choosing uh, phi x equals to cube root of x plus one and a equals to one, such that now my first approximation x one will be equal to phi x naught which is equal to cube root of one plus one which is equal to cube root of two. So you can simply uh, so and you can put this on a calculator and you will be getting this as 1.2599. Now I'll calculate my second approximation x2 equals to phi x1. So equal to cube root of so phi. Now I need to put 1.2599 in the place of x plus 1. This uh, this I'll be getting this as 1.3123. So what you can do in, in your calculator is you can go to your calculator and in order to calculate this you need to click on shift and mode go to your number six click on fix and uh, since i need to find the uh, find my root called to four decimal places i need to enter four you can set a function a function in, in your calculator as well for this uh, sim for this uh, for this function but it is quite simple so you can do this directly as well so i'll be calculating my x3 equals to phi x2 which is equal to cube root of 1.3123 plus 1 so this is equal to cube root of 2.3123 so i get this as 1.3224 1.3224 next for my fourth approximation phi x3 this will be simply equal to cube uh, cube root of 1.3224 plus 1 equals to uh, this will be equal to so let me write it down cube root of 2.3224 1.3243 so it's equal to 1.3243 1.3243 for my x5 i get this as so let me just write down directly over here i get this 1.3246 and my x6 will be equal to 1.3247 so as you can see over here my now my x6 and x5 are uh, are quite uh, close to each other so they are so let me write down this as modulus of x6 minus x5 equals to 1.3247 minus 1.3246 which is equal to 0 0.0001 0 0.0001 so which 0 0.001 
so as you can see here this is equal to 0 0.0001 which is still greater than 0 0.0005 so this is still greater than our tolerance level so let me go to my seventh iteration so i get this as uh, cube root of 1.3247 plus 1 so if you get this uh, if so if you do this in your calculator you will be you will be getting this as 1.3247 but now if i do x7 minus x6 which will be equal to 1.3247 minus 1.3247 which is equal to 0, 0.000 now this is a uh, now this is smaller than 0, 0.0005 so then we have our required root therefore our required root is required root equals to 1.3247 so, uh, so in this way using your so in this way using your iteration method we can find your required you can find your required root so right now i have chosen my phi x as cube root of x plus one so what you can do simply over here is you can choose your phi x equals to either uh, one divided by x square minus one or you can choose your phi x equals to uh, phi x equals to square root of x plus one by x and you can follow the same step you can choose a equals to one and you can uh, play you can find your x1 x2 x3 until you get your required root you'll be getting your you will be getting the same value of root 1.3247 and you can run your required number of iterations using the same way so in this way you can use your iteration method and find uh, and find out your uh, required root so if you like the video do subscribe the channel and like the video and if you have any queries do comment down below thank you